Hey friends, today we are going to draw an American flag. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun and we hope you're going to follow along with us. For this lesson, you need our Freedom Grid. And parents and teachers, you can download this from our website at artforkidshub.com. All right, you ready to start? Yeah. You can draw right on this page or you can do what we're going to do and add a piece of paper on top of it. And I'm using our favorite brand, Canson Marker Paper. That's because we're coloring with our Art for Kids Hub alcohol-based markers. But you can also use any art supplies you want. You could use crayons or even colored pencils. We're going to put one sheet on each of these. Then we're going to flip over our paper and we're going to add a piece of tape. Once we line up the paper, right there, then we're going to add that tape at the top. And this will help keep the paper from sliding around. It'll keep it still. And there we go. Then we're going to flip our paper back over. You can still see the grid underneath. And then when we're all done, we can remove the grid so that you don't see it. Now let's start with our yellow color. We're going to draw the flagpole and we're using number 33 if you have the same set. But you also could use a different brand marker and just pick a color that's similar. Okay, let's start up here in the top left and we're going to color two pixels down from the corner. This is the top of our flagpole and we're going to color it in. There you go. Nice, good job. Then down here at the bottom, we're gonna color three up. So we'll go one, two, three, and one over. So this is the bottom of the flagpole coming through. So three pixels up. Because we're doing a lot of coloring, we also might fast forward a lot of the video. So remember to pause if you need extra time. Now let's switch to our red marker. We're using number 15 and let's start here. We also have the fine tip because we're going to outline the shape of our flag, which is what shape? Rectangle. Yeah. <laughs> let's start right here and we're going to draw a line that comes down from the top to the bottom and we're not going to color these pixels in. Just draw on top of the grid down. Yes, there you go. Concentrating. You did it. Okay, now let's turn our paper this way. And we're going to draw a line straight from here. We're going to draw it down to there. Oh, yeah. Um, I thought I didn't line it up. There you go. I'm going to do mine also. All the way across. And then we can turn our, let's turn our paper again like this. And then we're going to draw, oh, wait, actually, let's go back. And we're going to draw from here all the way across to here. Yes, now let's turn our paper. We could turn it, oh, let's turn it right side up. <laughs> there we go. And then we're gonna draw a line from the top down to the bottom. Yes, there's the shape of our flag. Let's continue using the red and we're gonna outline the blue rectangle shape, even though we're using red. And we're gonna count from here, seven pixels to the right. The so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna put a guide point. And I'll, I'll count, I'll help count with you. One, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, so right here. Then from here, we're gonna count down five pixels. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna put a point right here. So let's count together. One, One two, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and put a point right there. Now let's draw a line straight down. And we could turn our page like this if we want. And then we're going to draw a line straight down again from there. Yes. Okay, let's turn our paper back. Now we're ready to draw the stripes and I'm switching to the thicker part of our marker. And we're going to start with the top and color this stripe in all the way across. Yeah, you could turn your paper if you want. And there are, do you know how many stripes are on the American flag? Yeah, 13 stripes. That's not how many stripes we're going to draw. We're trying to keep this less a little simple. So we're going to draw less stripes and also less stars. But do you know how many stars are on the flag? 50. Yeah, 50. So we have 13 stripes and 50 stars. We're not going to fit 50 stars in there. Okay, now we're going to do a white stripe and then we're going to do a red stripe. So now we're going to color this one in. So we skip a row of pixels and then we color in a row solid. And we're going to do this all the way down our drawing. We'll color one in and then skip a stripe. Then color one in, skip a stripe until we get all the way to the bottom. This part will fast forward, so pause the video for time to color your drawings. 
Well, it makes it a lot easier to turn your paper, huh? Yeah. So we're gonna skip here and then we're gonna pull the line all the way to me, directly to me. It's a lot easier. Now we're done with the stripes, we're ready to switch to the stars and we're gonna use 74 blue. Let's first color a column all the way down. We're gonna color one pixel over and down to fill in this whole column inside of this rectangle. Yeah. Now we're gonna color in the top pixel on the next column but just the top one. Then we're gonna skip a pixel and color this one in. It looks like an F. <laughs> it does look like an F. Now let's turn it into an E. We're gonna color the bottom pixel in. Now we're skipping pixels to make the white stars. All right, on this next one, it's different. The top one will leave white and skip down to here and color this one in. It's gonna look a little bit like a checkerboard when we're done. There you go. Then we're gonna skip a pixel and color this one in. That's all for this column. Now on the next one, we'll color the top and we're gonna repeat. Skip a pixel and then color it in all the way down. Now let's do the next column. We're gonna skip the top one and then color in the next one. And then do that one more time for this column. All right, let's do one more. We're gonna color in the top and then skip a box and color in the next one. Skip one more box and color in the bottom pixel. On the last column, let's color it in solid all the way down. And we did it. Let's flip over our paper and we can pull off the grid. Give me five, Olivia. We finished drawing and coloring our American flag and yours turned out perfect. Did you have fun? Yeah. Me too, I hope our art friends had a lot of fun. Also, you guys can pause the video if you need that extra time. You could even add a background. That would be really cool to use fireworks exploding for a background. Yes, you can also cut this out. Oh yeah, and use it as a decoration. Oh, to celebrate Independence Day. That would be really cool. Yeah. We hope you have fun drawing American flag with us. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye -bye.